everybody, it is Michelle with Unicorn Spit. I'm tuning in today to show you how to use Unicorn Spit in your screen stencils or regular stencils on bare wood that has been stained or without stain um, without getting any bleeds. Um, it's pretty simple. It's very easy and all you do is mix your Unicorn Spit with this additive that we have that's called Perfect Stencil Powder. You use um, two little spoonfuls, it comes with a pre-measured spoon, to one ounce of Unicorn Spit, and what it does, it makes you a beautiful chalk paste. Very easy, very simple, um, non-toxic, no VOC, everything you expect and gives you wonderful amazing results with regular stencils or with screen stencils so i'm going to point you down and let you guys see how we do it so here we go here is a wood blank that i was working with yesterday um or you guys actually saw this one live this is the piece that i used the um the primary colors in so this one was done with blue, yellow, and red. And that's how we we're able to get this array of colors on here. What I've done, because I don't want the colors to reactivate, because this is still water-based, I don't want it to reactivate and raise the pigments out of it and into the white. I am gonna be using white. So what I did was do a coat, two coats actually, of just some spray clear coat. Any of the spray clear coats work, your heart's desire, any brand works, um, you know, just as long as it's clear. Um, the aerosol ones are all oil-based. It's very nice and easy. What you're going to do from there, if you feel that the wood is kind of like sticky and then has like little bumps sticking out of it, like almost like sandpaper, you're going to take a piece of cardboard like this after the clear coat is completely dry and you're just going to go back and forth on it like this in a sanding motion following the grain and you're going to feel that it leaves you with a nice smooth surface and all those little gritty spots from doing the clear coat and you know raising the grain of the wood are completely gone it'll be nice and smooth for you to move on hello texas hello all right, now we're gonna be using the same stencil that I used yesterday. I cleaned it and allowed it to dry. We're just going to peel it off the plastic. Now this is a stencil that I made myself using my Icon Art stencil maker. Super amazing little company. Right here in the United States, they make these machines. It's a, a light and they send you this, trans, this paper that you like a clear film almost kind of paper that you print out on and then you expose this blue under a UV light then you wash it with water and all the areas that black were on washes away and leaves you with a clear netting and then where the black wasn't leaves you with the blackout area so you can stencil make your own like um, adhesive stencils and they're reusable which is very nice all right so what we're going to do, I'm going to measure real quick just to make sure that this is, this is one inch from the edge. Oh, I'm off. We got to do a half an inch. If we do a, a half inch off the edge, like yesterday, we'll have it perfect. Mm, it's a little off. Yesterday I was able to eyeball this and I don't know how I did it, but it was crazy. And even my husband was like, I don't know how you did that. You have crazy eyes. All right, let's try this again. So we are going to try to center this checkerboard up so much. All right, half an inch. I'm coming off the angle there. Half an inch. Half an inch. Half an inch. All right, so now it's ready to be laid down. I'm just gonna take my hand and just rub it over that stencil and just make sure that I get all the bubbles out of it and that there's no creases. And it's okay if the adhesive wears down a little bit because it's gonna, it'll be fine. It'll just be fine. I'm gonna also go grab real quick, which I forgot was my 
little applicator. I have another one in my set. I just haven't moved all the way into my dream box yet. I need to get working on that. I've got so many things on my plate. It's crazy. All right. What are we doing? Okay. So then we're going to tape off the area that, you know, I don't want to go outside of my lines, although it is sealed now, so I could wash it away, but I haven't done like a, a, a like a super duper seal on it. I mean, this is just one coat, so I'm going to take it a little easy on it. All right, let's get up here. All right, just make sure this is not going to interfere with my layering. Yeah, there we go. Oh, see, here we go. Move this down just a little bit better. There we go. Now she's down and she's ready to apply our stencil, um, our chalk paste that we've made. You just use a little, um, I don't know, you can even use a business card if you wanted to. If you don't have a silicone little scrapey dapey thing. Here we go. And remember, we sealed this one first so that the white would be extremely strong as opposed to it being opaque. Um, the last time that I did it, I wanted the colors to bleed through so that it would be a little bit more opaque. But this time, I want the white to really um, be more prevalent. And that's why I sealed it first as opposed to just going over it with the raw spit on it. All right, guys, let me know where you're tuning in from. Um, I saw a comment just popped up and then it disappeared right before my eyes before I was able to respond to it. So if you guys made a comment, please tell me or send it through again so I can see it. Unfortunately, they don't just play for like ever. When I'm on Facebook doing my live, I have a long time to see the comments. Um, they leave them up there for quite some time so I can, you know, toggle my eye back and forth. But with the YouTube, it seems like they give you a flash of the comment as opposed to like the comment for like a long time. A little bit disparaging for me. All right, so I'm gonna take the excess and scrape it right off and put it back into my little bucket to use another day. Here we go. There we go. Hello, Portland. See, I caught that one. Hello, Holly. Hello. All right. We're just getting all the excess scraped off. And what you're doing, you're scraping it through the screen on a regular stencil. You could just do it as you would a regular stencil, but you wouldn't have to do multiple coats. You could just do one. All right. We got this stuff through the holes there. All right. Then you just put a lid on it. And then come, you know, next week or something, you want to use it again, you can. And if it happens to dry out, just add a little bit of water, stir it up, let it sit overnight, and stir it again, and it'll turn right back into your chalk paste. No plastics means that it can even dry in your stencil. And come back a month from now, you can wash it out. So that's super cool. Here we go. Completely bleed-free stencils using the, the stencil powder. It is amazing and I absolutely love it. Can you see that guys? Tightwad, Missouri. Oh gosh, that's you, Shira Mullins. Of course you're in Tightwad. She is anything but a Tightwad. <laughs> what a funny name for a town though, right? <laughs> so there's our perfect stencil, you guys. Look at that. Nice, crisp lines, no bleeding. Um, it's just amazing. It's absolutely fabulous how well these little stencils work. And this is like my third time using this stencil. So they're reusable over and over and over again. I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna set that one to the side and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to remove the tape from this one. And I'll be, I'm going to take a, a quick break real fast, you guys. I'm going to just go rinse this off in some water. Give me one second.
and rinsed off in some water. What I'm gonna do real quick is just take it, lay it down, sticky side down on my surface here, which is a sealed surface. It's the um, plastic surface or MDF with laminate surface that's on my tabletop for my um, dream box, my, my create room dream box. So we're just gonna lay that down on here and I'm just gonna kind of squeegee some water off of it. I'm gonna show you how easy and how quickly you can reuse this stencil. So we're just gonna get it kind of shaped correctly again. And I'm just gonna use a old t-shirt. A t-shirt is what I prefer because they're, they don't have very much lint. And we're just going to get off Kind of squeegeeing again, but using the t-shirt, squeegee off the water. You can see it did leave some lint. Oh man, that's all right. We'll get through this. We will get through this. All right. So all we're doing is just getting the mass of water off. Now this second piece that I have is actually sealed already. I did this one yesterday with you guys and I've already sealed this one and I've already knocked down any of the little fibrous things that are sticking through. And we're just gonna take the stencil, yes, even though it is damp, put it sticky side down and we're gonna be able to use this stencil immediately again without having to wait for it to dry 100%. You just gotta make sure that we got it leveled up and the dampness of it helps significantly with it adhering to that sealed surface too. Love it. All right, so half an inch, half an inch. Man, I'm getting really, really good at this. I'll tell you what. All right, so there we go. Now with this one, some of you may have followed me before. Where can you buy the powder? Um, www.michellenicoles.com. Um, I'll, I'll write it on something here, hold on. Here we go. So that everybody can follow. I will just write it with some, with some spit. I don't have any chalk brushes, so. W, 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 M, how boring is this? Sorry guys. I, C, H, E, L, L, E. Nicole's with an S dot com very cool there you go guys that'll tell you where to go all right so now we have this stencil down i mixed it with um one of my prototype colors which is called zeus um, i've been toying around with an idea about having a metallic line of unicorn spit that will you know easily wash away off of a chalkboard surface and such um and i i i've kind of come up with it pretty good. I've got some available for customers to start trialing. Um, if, if you go to the website, you'll see a multitude of different metallic colors that I've, I've been coming up with. They're called Artistic Vivations. They are not produced by Eclectic. Um, I'm still hand brewing them just the same way that I used to brew regular unicorn spit. And of course they're scented as well. So this one, it doesn't look metallic as when it's um, been mixed with the powder when it's wet, but when it dries, it'll give a foil-like um, look and it's, it's really pretty. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna clean this off because we don't wanna dull it down with adding white. So let me go ahead and get it wet. This thing was supposed to be like, didn't last very long. All right, so I'll go ahead and clear, clean off my little, my little 
thingy my jigger all right so here we go we got all this down we're gonna make sure you know I don't know if this is very straight see that so what I'm gonna do is make it so that it's not warpy when you put these down when they're wet you will get um, a little bit of disproportion to them because the um because the fibers just move it's just like you know putting down a, a wet shirt when it's dry it takes its form back but you know if you put it down wet it's going to be a little bit wonky so just give it a, a extra look and you can see it's, it's pretty much dry so here we go we're going to be doing this with the metallic one i'm just going to scrape that right on now this has been sealed the surface that I'm working on so that the colors will be really strong and vibrant. I'm just gonna get this spread out on here. You don't have to worry about going really fast. Um, now, if you're familiar with using chalk paste of the past, chalk paste of the past, they will um, dry up incredibly fast and they'll ruin your stencil and um, with unicorn spit or my vibations as the paste along with the additive you do not have to worry about that rapid dry time and even if it does dry out on you you can always reconstitute it with water and get it right out of your stencil to use hundreds of times without an issue and I forgot to tape off over here so I think this might be a good opportunity for me to show you how to clean if you go outside your lines so I'm just going to do that real quick go ahead and just don't worry even about getting it over there here we go I'm just going to feed that right through that screen here we go now I went one direction with the spit now I'm going to go another direction just going to make sure that it all goes through that screen there we go i'm just making sure that it's a nice full dose that's being pressed through that screen lots of working time here no may day rush with fear that you're going to ruin your stencil It looks like I got it on there pretty good. Let me go ahead and just get this little line right here one more time. This little line down here. This little line of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. All right, any extra, scrape it right back into our little container so that we can use it again and again. It almost looks like I missed it. Susie, I missed it. Did she mix to get the colors powder? Renee, um, this is, all right, so there's two different things on here. This is Zeus, it's my, um, I'm still home brewing them. And then this is Unicorn Spit. Eclectic mass manufacturers and takes care of all the customer service and handles retail and all that of Unicorn Spit. I was brewing this at home, they took over, we have a partnership and they handle everything for me and I absolutely love them. However, I have another idea where I wanted to make a metallic one. So Eclectic will eventually make these, but they are not yet. I'm still formulating the colors perfectly. These colors are my metallic line and I call them artistic vibations and they are still hand brewed like back in the olden days when I was brewing unicorn spit myself. Now I'm brewing artistic vibations that one day will be produced by eclectic products. Once I have the colors absolutely perfect, I don't want to hand them over until the colors are exactly nailed on. All right, so here we go. We're going to pull this off. All right, again, we don't have to worry about our stencil yet. We can wash that off at any time. And as you can see, there's some areas over here. I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see that a little bit better. Here we go. All right, so you can see where I went outside of the lines. 
So I'm just gonna get a brush, a nice, you know, flat brush that's clean. I'm gonna just mist a little bit of water on it. Not too much is needed. And I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna hydrate where I went over my lines and be able to clean it off. You can use that or you can use a Q-tip. And I have a Q-tip, hold on. I really wanna use the Q-tips. Where is my Q-tips? Where are you? Dawn, have you seen my Q-tips? I haven't figured out where I stuffed everything away yet. So you guys gotta, gotta hang with me here for a second. You have one in your room? All right, let me have one. Thanks, babe. My husband works on the other side of the wall than me, so we're always like sharing. <laughs> okay, so take a regular Q-tip. Here we go, and we're just gonna erase it. Now, this only works if you're doing it on a sealed surface, folks. All right, if this is on a bare wood surface, it will stain it. But in a sealed surface, it will come right off, like a chalkboard surface or a surface that's already had polyurethane put on it like this, or any of your oil-based top coats or glass. It won't, it, it's, as long as it's not sealed, it'll come up, or as long as you're putting it down on a sealed surface, it'll come back up. And it also means that if you mess up your stencil and you're not satisfied with the way it turned out, you can always wash it off and start over again. So there's really no mistakes. I really love our stencil powder. Um, it's a great little addition for doing crafts, especially when it comes to kids because it gives them that freedom to um, do something real tedious like this and get phenomenal results without, you know, messing it up and they're all disappointed in themselves. Let me show you how crisp and perfect those lines are. All right. So that's the stencil being used right after it was used with no drying time in between. That is the Icon Art Stencil. I'll give you guys a link for that. You can make millions of different um, designs with it. But what I wanna show you real fast is if you look at it now, cause it is damp, it is not as shiny as it will be. So I'm just going to take my um, little hand dryer and I'm gonna dry it so you guys can see how foil like it gets. You guys can just see it turn foily right before your eyes. It's so beautiful. I love it. It just needs to dry. Once it's dry, it is gorgeous. Now this is a 24 karat gold on the Zeus. Um, you can make it lighter gold by just using adding water or even adding a little bit of whitening to it to lighten it up. I should have called it lightning, but my son wanted white Ning because he thought Ning meant like a, like the good witch for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> Here we go. As it dries, which it dries pretty quick, but that stencil itself was damp. It'll get really beautifully 24 karat gold foil like. It'll start looking like the bottle itself. So you can see how foil like that is. So again, the product that I used, you can find at my personal little um, storefront, I guess it is. It's just all my little tricks and things. It's called michellemccoles.com. I believe you guys are probably seeing it backwards and I'm sorry. I don't know how to turn off the mirror. Mirror. There we go. Just drying her out. There goes that beautiful foil. Now we also have a copper that I thought would be really pretty to use. Oh, sorry guys, if you guys are hearing that, my boys have decided to pull out the trombone and the trumpet. They are practicing their music today. There we go. Now she's nice and dry. 
All right. So I want to make sure she's dry. Yep. Uh, is she? Yeah, she's dry. Okay. So here we go. Look how foily that is. Is that crazy or what? So I think that the metallics will be a great addition to the unicorn spit line. Um, they really make my heart sing. I think they're really neat. It's the world's first metallic um, wood stain to go along with the world's first sparkling wood stain and the world's first non-toxic no VOC colored concentrated stain that unicorn spit is. Isn't that pretty? You guys like it? Give me some thumbs up. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So again, that's on a sealed surface and it's really easy. It doesn't take much. You just mix it right into one of these little containers. These containers I pick up at the dollar store, you get like eight of them for a dollar. And you just mix a little bit of the um, powder in with your spit and you get these beautiful little designs or a chalk paste so you can do white you can do metallics if you go with the vibration line you can do any one that you want it even works with the sparkling spit it's gorgeous and i absolutely love them um, i did a little comparison i was trying to use some other product on one side and i didn't care for it as much as this is easy to do so we have now both of these done and now I have to decide on what color we want to put on this one. We can do a number of colors. I'm really particular to gold. I know, I'm so goofy. I love gold. I don't know what my deal is. Um, but we are going to be putting these golden handles on it. So I thought the gold might be a good idea. But then... I really think that the white just might really show it off. So if you guys want to give me some comments real quick, you guys will make the decision on what color um, checkerboard we should put on this one, either comment gold or comment white. And I'll give you guys about three minutes to go over that. And while we're doing that, I'm gonna show you how I mixed the unicorn spit with the powder in order to make that. Again, I'm just using a clear little tub. Remember, comment white or, oh, I'm out of Poseidon, girlfriend. Um, white or gold. And what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna make a black so you guys can see how a black looks because I love the black. Oh my gosh, am I out of black? No, I'm not out of black. Okay, get on call. go get on your call. Regular unicorn spit. And just to be safe, Let's go ahead and do that over here. Oh, I'm going to be sending these off to Eclectic. They're going to be using them in their displays or something. I'm so what excited. Are they be, though? Checkerboards. Checkerboard check, slash check, check, gold. Check. People are saying gold. I saw white. Here, check. watch the comments up here for me, Jamie, so that you can tell me if people say gold or white. All right. Good morning, Michelle. Black. Oh, maybe we should do it black. All right, so I'm going ahead and I'm putting one ounce of unicorn spit in these little tuppers. These are two ounce tuppers. So I'm filling it up about halfway. Hi. Say hello to everybody, James. That's my son, Jamie. We also call him Ziggy. Sometimes. Yes, when he's a bad boy, we call him James. Oh, James. So we Gosh. add two heaping scoops of the perfect stencil powder just to our thing. Just oh, they did. All right, guys, remember, keep commenting okay, gold or white or black. Shoot, we could do black. I don't think it would be any problem. So we're just gonna stir this up. And as you can watch it, it kind of turns into a, it, it is glossy for sure. It turns into like a chunky looking, substance very chunky it looks almost like um small curd cottage cheese you know that's gonna fall you better just put that down for me thank you baby so there we go i didn't put it down i, didn't I know down. better put it down before it falls and throws my paint somewhere all right so it's gonna turn nice and thick so then once you get it mixed in there you're going to put the lid on it 
and you're going to allow it to render in its little package for 20 minutes before you use it. And you're gonna stir it up after that 20 minutes and it'll turn real fluffy, real fluffy, almost like like um, whipped, whipped, uh, what is that stuff called? Um, the whipped, the whipped stuff. What's the whipped stuff called? Whipped marshmallow. See how fluffy it turns? It's like a whipped marshmallow. So it turns right into a chalk paste with the same attributes where um, you can use it on, say, like a chalkboard surface. I'll give you a little demonstration. And this one we haven't cleaned, so mind that there might be a little bit of gold in it, which might actually look really pretty. Let's see here. All right, so I'm going to show you what it's going to look like if you use it on a chalkboard surface like you see here. All right, um, let's do the white so it'll show up really good. And obviously it's going to mix with the gold that's existing on here because I didn't clean the surface off or that might actually look really pretty. So all I'm going to do is just take my hand, drag it across and get it to adhere. Now, mind you, I'm not taking my time and making it perfect and taping it off and, you know, whatever. We're just really kind of sloughing it together here. All right, I'm going to grab some of the white. I'll just do a band. There we go. This is on a chalkboard surface. I'm just not even gonna do the whole thing, guys, so bear with me here. And remember, the white has mixed with the yellow, so we'll probably get like a 14 karat gold look or a 10 karat gold, which is pretty neat, right? All right. So we just get it spread out on there. And oh my gosh, is that neat looking or what? Look how it looks all old from the gold mixing with the white. Is that amazing or what? But still absolutely perfect bleed free edges because of that powder. I love that. That is actually that. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to do about that. That's amazing looking. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love the color this turned out. It looks so tobacco road, kind of like worn and oh my gosh. Is that neat or what? And because I didn't take my time to get all the creases out and the wrinkles, it left them and they look neato. Oh my goodness, I could totally see this done on so many pieces of artwork oh my goodness all right so this is on here and um I, the, the whole goal was to show you how it works on chalkboard so as beautiful as it may be we're gonna dry it off okay let's get it nice and dry here i can't believe how pretty that turned out it's so crazy right oh my goodness you know you never know what kind of things that you're gonna come up with until you just do something that's completely off the wall that you wouldn't normally do, you get some something like this happen. I mean, this is this is really crazy. It looks like old newspaper or something. Oh my goodness. Like it was tea stained. It totally is a happy accident, Cheryl. You were right. It is totally a happy accident. Maybe we should put that on here. Oh my gosh. I think that's like so cool oh my goodness gracious the things we have happen when we're just playing around and just rushing through and oh my gosh all right is this dry yet okay so this is dry so this is dry right and you can go you know a long time it's not going to smudge it's not going to rub off however if you're done with your um, design for that week or that month on a on a sealed or glass or chalkboard surface. Now I'm talking about well sealed, y'all. All right, so all you have to do is wet it with a little water and it comes right off just like a chalk 
paste should. So you just need to hit it with a nice wet cloth and you can get it nice and clean. It will wash completely off your surface. So I think that's pretty neat, but now I'm loving it. Doing my house in country, if ever get back to it, we'll be using it for sure, right? It is so country and so pretty. It reminds me of like an old worn map or something. So the powder that I used is called Perfect Stencil Powder. It comes with its own little thing. It is at www.michellenicoles.com. You can find all of my little unicorn spit concepts. I'm the one who invented unicorn spit. Eclectic's the one who perfected it. They mass produce it and get it out to all of you guys, but I'm still busy working in my kitchen creating new ideas, and that's where the Vivations line comes in. I'm, um, we have some concept colors out, and once we get them nailed down and perfect, then we'll send them over to Eclectic and they will be crowned with the Unicorn Spit crown. But right now they're still going through customer satisfaction um, and customer um, response right now. We're, we're doing something, I like to make a product that's for the artist and made by the artist. And the only way to do that is to let real artists, not just chemists and things like that, play with the stuff and tell me what they like and they don't like about it. Then I make the formulation a little bit different, suited to what my customers' reviews are, and send them over and Eclectic makes it absolutely perfect for you. That's how Unicorn Spit was made. Um, I took everybody's ideas whenever I came up with Unicorn Spit, I twisted it and turned it and did this and did that and made it more concentrated and made it a gel and got these little lids on it. Everything based on what the customer wanted. Now Eclectic makes these and they are amazing. Every artist can use it. Now we're going through the same process on the metallic line. So if you guys wanna get in on the ground level of those and tell me what you like, don't like, if you think it's too dark, it's too light, is it too thick, is it too concentrated, does it need to be watered down? Those, that's where I hear from you guys and that's where these ones come in. The little additive, you can pick up at my website as well. So. There we go, you guys. We're gonna save this for later. I'm gonna go back through the comments. I'm gonna read how many people say white, how many people said gold to do this one's checkerboard, and now how many people want me to try to recreate this crazy look that we did over here. All right, guys, well, until I see you guys again, be good, be blessed, and always let your creative juices flow even when you think you messed up. <laughs> Talk to you later. Goodbye.